Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I have needed is Call of Duty Modern Warfare, as nothing new, this game it is developed by Binox, iNoon and also Infinity Ward and also they are using their Infinity Ward engine. For the settings I'm going to use the same settings that I did use on Call of Duty Warzone, so it's pretty much high settings. Alright, including shadows. The shadows, it's the only setting that I did drop from Ultra 2i. All the rest, it is absolutely set to maximum settings. So, looking to the requirements of this game, what you need on the recommended, it is a GTX 1660, 12 gigs of RAM, and an AMD Ryzen 5 from the first generation. So, on the graphic card side, we are not at the recommended level. But the GTX 1650 Super actually delivers very good results. For example, with the 1080p with these maximum settings with shadows on AI, I got an average of 87 frames per second with a 1% level of 64. So I have never seen the game dropping below the 60 frames, which was really good. But if you decide to go with 1440p, what I do recommend to you it is to play with median settings. Although there are some drops here and there, because with 1440p median settings, what you can expect, it is an average of 60 frames per second, but unfortunately the 1% low might be something like 48 frames per second. But still, it is very playable and I do recommend a lot if you really want to enjoy this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. So why the hell did I decide to try out the game when I did already try Call of Duty Warzone? Because it's different. Call of Duty Warzone focused more on the large scale battle and it doesn't mean that it is more and more or less demanding. Well, for example, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare maps, or the regular maps like this one, are much more close quarters and there are probably more action in a second than the entire war zone. So it might be more demanding or less depending on the situations. So I actually did enjoy it. I thought it was a good idea, I mean, to test it out the regular maps instead of the war zone. In case you are interested in the war zone, the war zone you can find the video on my YouTube channel, alright? But this video it is specifically for the regular maps from the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about its performance. I hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>
UAV over here. Halfway there, step it up. Captured Alpha. <laughs> Securing Bravo. Enemy at the door. Hold all the objectives. Hostiles at Alpha, go. Charlie secure. Hostiles at Bravo, go. Hostiles at Bravo. Enemy personal radar in the air. We're taking Alpha. Need backup at Charlie. They've got two objectives. Keep it. <laughs> Be advised. Friendly precision here. Hostiles have Charlie. Got a personal radar drone ready. Bravo! 